No, sir. Sir, when we were in school, eh? eh? One of the ways they, they teach us to do multiplication. Maybe I will refer. When they say 28 times 18 or something, the teacher will tell you that put the 8 aside, take 10, add the 0. Eh? Or 3. Or you add the 0 to the 28. It becomes 208. Then you do the and then add it. Now all those calculator and things, the children that are coming now, they don't need that. You, you say to have million times something, they'll just do like this. Mm, mm. Huh? How do they call it? Abacus. Huh? Lucy Mass. You see Mass. They'll just do. Uh, 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 and they'll call it. So by the time you are pressing calculator, you are late. You know, this guy that was. There was a controversy of his admission to Achimota. That Rastafarian guy who became one of the best students out of the school, you know, he was asked questions about mathematics and he, they, he gave an answer and said, using calculator is too far, it's too tedious, it's delaying time. So what you learned uh, 10 years ago, many variables has made some of the things you have learned insignificant. That's why you need to build capacity. That's why you go to the ministry. That, that's the problem with Africans. We are people eh, at various, occupying various positions without capacity. So their speech, it must even be written by, by somebody. So even when they are president, their speech must be write, written by somebody. And even as they are writing their speech, they will read it as if it is their origin. But they didn't know that the writer of the speech copied another president somewhere. Yes, sir. Because they don't have the capacity to lead. You know, you know, the problem with Africans is that we don't put people who have capacity to be at the place. That's why your assembly men cannot speak English. Hey. That, that is the problem we have in this country. There are CEOs of companies who, there are CEOs of Let's say National Petroleum Authority. Uh, Authority. They know nothing about petroleum, but they are there because politics put them there. You put people and make them minister of highways, land, highways. They don't know that motorway was built by concrete. So if you want to repair motorway, you don't use artifact. They don't. How would they know? Because the English is also a problem. Why, why would they know? There is no capacity. That's why we are where we are. That's why you see somebody who can do the job. The person is down. The one who cannot do the job is up. Have you realized that sometimes even the big names you have in the industry, when it even comes to food, people talk about them so much. When you eat their food, then you begin to wonder. What, what, what is in this food? And there are people who are smaller. But when they eat their food, their food becomes big. You know why? The big ones today, when they were small, they built capacity. Now they got to a level, they are no longer building the capacity. So they have become... I know I'm preaching. There is financial capacity. There are people who are financially <laughs> have financial capacity. You see, this country, eh, we, are, we, are, we are not serious. Somebody just appears and says he wants to be president. They ask him, uh, how did you make money? He said, <laughs> I sold scrap. <laughs> and then for my 21 years, I made $1 million. Mother, for compare track, now you pay track. You have pay scrap, now you enter. So you have $1 million. This, where will you get? I think I need to put this microphone down and set up a company, Parsley and Sons. You people will be <laughs> my workers. Every of my son and my daughter here will be my worker. Not my small wala jo. Bibi o benyam biyana wafa. We benam nima. Na we benam madina.
A lady reverend, he needs to. Women don't need to suffer, so she will handle my finances. We are picking scraps. Sir, you know, one of the problems. Ah, uh, do you know something? Do you know why Canada has opened the door to people to come there? Because they are asking people that have capacity to come. Because Canada is about to find oil and gas. They don't even know, but I'm telling you as a prophet. Because before Ghana found oil, I prophesied it here. My pastor's wife was there. I professor, I stood in church. I was not even prophetic, prophetic like now. But they are building capacity. America used capacity. People's capacity to build America. No, there is no capacity. When people don't have capacity, no matter what you build, they'll collapse it. You know, I met a man on Monday. His business has gone down. You know, you know, down. Eh? Within a month, eh, his revenue within a month is two million dollars, two million cities. That's what comes in as sales within a, a month. All of a sudden, the man, the business has come down. Say so he pays tithes, he does everything. And I look at him, I say, let's pray. The Lord just told him, tell him to sack his relatives in the company. They are the problem. I will never advise anybody here that when you have a company that is thriving, you will employ relatives and put them in high positions. They will collapse you. So Ephesians, we look at the book of Ephesians. Those of you in church, what was the text we look at in Ephesians? Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. So I'm speaking on building spiritual capacity part two. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Somebody say, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Spirituality is the custodian of every man's destiny. In other words, spirituality is man's origin. It is the bedrock of every destiny. It is your spiritual priorities that will determine your physical possibilities and realities. Your spiritual priorities. Until our spiritual capacity is enhanced, the breakthrough we want in life will be minimal. Man is a spirit. Man was a spirit first before he was given a body and a soul. That is what the security of the destiny of a man is rooted in that man's spirituality. The spirituality of a man can be likened to the root of a tree. The welfare of a tree is determined by the root it is connected to. That is why you must build your capacity. 
The most essential needs of man is not a car. My friend, it's not a car. All this, I want car, I want husband. It's not, it's not what you need. That, that is what you want. Needs are more, but the most essential needs of a man is a spiritual need. Because, sir, 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 when the spirit of wisdom enters your head, you can buy a car without prayer. You can't have spiritual gifts like Pastor, uh, Pastor Chris and the sick is being healed and be begging people for car. I heard all the post said something. The church they are building now, one man gave a seed of one million dollars. One million dollars. And the man's name was not mentioned in the church. I thought, you know the money you are praying about. Eh? A foolish guy somewhere has that money in his pocket. So your need is not physical. Your need is spiritual. When the spiritual is in place, it will put the physical in place. Now, if, if there is something you, you hear, write this thing down. You have not succeeded until you succeed in God. You have not succeeded in life until you succeed in God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things. People are lying, killing, manipulating to get. I will add it to you. So the first root you must build this year is spiritual root. You must build your spiritual capacity. Because life is first spiritual. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Sir, 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 sir. Build your spiritual capacity the, like the way you build your body in the gym. <laughs> I, I don't I don't look attractive when it comes to physique. Uh, uh, flat stomach. I don't have big stomach like Apostle Ophori stomach, but but I have some level of stomach. It's not six pack, but I am attractive spiritually. You cannot ignore me spiritually. You cannot. Your most essential needs are not as spiritual needs are. Your spiritual needs. That's why you need to build your spiritual capacity. So anything that is not spiritual has no profit for you. <laughs> you know, there are people who assume spirituality. Uh, there are people who assume spirituality. You know, I, I, I took you guys to a church. I think it's an ICGC church. I went to preach in that church and I picked up a man. When I was preaching throughout the preaching, he was standing and, and praying and doing his head like this. He was doing his head as if he's praying all the, during all the time. <laughs> then I was prophesying and I picked him. He was shallow like paper. <laughs> that, that is, you know, <laughs> you, you can have some form of spirituality but you have not built capacity. For instance, for instance, the things you are even confessing in God's word, eh, eh, they are tend to possession by your capacity. Sir, you know something, I've told you here before, and some of you, it has happened in your life. One of my sons was doing a service, and then he had an attack. Young prophet coming up will be scratching his body with stone because he prayed for somebody that had that condition, and then the condition was transferred to him. And he called me, I was crying, Daddy, Daddy, I'm scratching. And when you see his body, the stones have cut his body. I said, Come to my office. He came to my office. I look at him, I didn't lay hands on him. I said, 
in the name of Jesus, it's over. Go. He sees from there. But he has been fasting and praying, but still cutting his body. You say confession, the confession converts to possession based on the capacity of the individual. You cannot be Elijah. The only way you can say that it will not rain on the land for three and a half years. Nevertheless, at my word, is because you are building enough capacity because there are prophets of Baal that can call down rain. Now, you see, I can't be sitting here and any prophet will come here unless the prophet has bigger capacity than me. A prophet cannot come here if he doesn't have a bigger capacity than me and then stands here and says, it will, it will rain in one hour. He will be a false prophet. Because in my capacity, I will sit down and say, God, let no rain touch the ground. And that will be the end. Now, 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 are there not sons here? Are there not people here who tell me a prophet said this, 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 this? I look at him and say, the prophet saw, but it can't happen. That's the end. There's no negotiation. I don't pray for you. And it doesn't happen. This incapacity. You can't bring a macho man here to be carrying this speaker. And then you expect me to carry this. I'm not a fool. Because I have not built capacity to carry this speaker. I will break. Do you know there are people, eh? You are bigger than the tire, tire your girl that is carrying your goose in the market. But if you were the one carrying that goose, you will break down. But the slim tire your girl can carry that goose and be running with it because she has built ca- where she came from is capacity building. Sir, sir, sir. This year, <laughs> where the world is getting to, this will not get better. Because the world is getting to a place for the coming of the Messiah. And it takes people that have built spiritual capacity to survive. Sir, you need to build spiritual capacity. If you have not built spiritual capacity like T.B. Joshua, you would have been killed a long time ago. And I look at a man, even in his death, people are fighting him. <laughs> I want to be like that, that when I die, people are still fighting me. That is impact. That is impact. That is impact. That is impact. If the man is a devil, then he's a good devil. I want to be that kind of devil. A man that when you are alive, people thought you are... Do you know that in Nigeria, when TBO Joshua started, people conspired and even put him in prison. That he has stolen drugs and he didn't steal drugs. Do you know his wise men when they started talking? Do you see the things they say about him? That's why, men of God, eh, it doesn't matter the people who betray you. There are people around you yes, that will know what you have done for them. Yes, That's all. You need to build spiritual capacity. Oh. It's not in gathering people. If you, you cannot say you have a ministry called Fountain Gate in Borga hey. if you don't have spiritual capacity. You know, recently, uh, my father, I was with my father, Reverend Eastwood. He was in a meeting. I saw, some of you saw the video. And he called me and started praying for me and asked me to hold his shoe. Then he made a statement. He said, as you come, my son, come to the north. He said, there is a way the prophetic ministry is going. But I just want your leg to touch the north. Because you see, if you say you know ministry, doing Accra, <laughs> ministry in Accra is nothing. Accra. Accra is a civilized place. How many witches do you even have in Accra? How many witches are in Accra? You want to do ministry for them to know that you are anointed in ministry. Eh? Go to places like the north. Go to places like the Volta region. Go to places like Bekwai. Go to places like Bechem. Uh, those are the places in the night. There are powers that be. If you don't carry capacity, you will die. Also, one day I entered the church in Kumasi. Immediately I entered the church, they gave me, they, they took me from the hotel. I came out of the car. Three old women were introduced to me as the prayer warriors of the church. 
I, I look at them, they look at me. <laughs> I, I said in my mind, these are not prayer warriors. These are advanced spiritual entities. And I asked them, Shall I, a prayer warrior, someone in me. <laughs> the woman turned their face. No, no, no. That was, there was no suggestion, sir. I ministered in that church. When I started ministering in that church, there was a realm I entered, the three of them left the church. The following day, I was in the hotel and then I was called that my horse is looking for me. I said, let them come. And they came with a basket. And there was granola soup in the basket. And that is what they did to their pastor. And they took over the church. But I've already seen it. And they came with those, they are jackals. That's why when you are a pastor, you go to everybody's house, you are eating very soon. Because you see, one of the ways demons can be transmitted is not just through sex, but also through food. That's why you, when you are a pastor, you don't visit people. You don't visit people in a house. Me, I don't visit people in a house. But in the name of visiting people, you this one will say, "Oh, also for you are tired." My young man, fufu be na cook na na. So me here fasting. Oh, also for jai di kakra ye kakra no na udi. And see, when you start eating in people's house, you need to look for a story to back it. So that's where junior pastors start gossiping about their senior pastor. <laughs> Can you imagine this church that we are in? Uh, uh, <laughs> things are not moving well. Fufu ne ma ukasasa. Fufu ne ma ukasasa. Sa! Long and so sorry, they broadcast uh, oh, this hotel. I was in Golden Tulip at that time. Now it's called Lancaster. Fine. So this food they serve, this is homemade food. Cutting coin and all that. Do you eat garlic? I already know what is inside. I look at them, I said, I'm fasting. Because sometimes you don't need to offend people. You need to apply wisdom. I told them I'm fasting. So, is there not anything we can do? Uh, and I said, no. I'm fasting. I'll be fasting throughout. But the night before I went to eat, when they left, I went there. I said, bring me the bill. I paid my own bill. That night, they didn't appear in church. That's how my soul escaped. So, years ago, I was doing prophetic service like this. There was a lady in the church that filled me. The lady was interested in me. If you don't understand feeling me, then, then you are you are you, you need to build your capacity emotionally. Thank you, sir. <laughs> there was a lady in the church that said she was feeling me, you know, and she did all her chemistry and the thing didn't work. Then she went to buy perfume uh, and perfume, and they put something in the perfume. That is why sometimes when you see your husband following the lady John, 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 start, stop screaming and build spiritual capacity. Because all the, some men, the ladies they are following, it is not ordinary. There is something that has tied their neck and the thing is pulling them. That's why they can wire money to a girl and the girl will say thank you and they say never mention. <laughs> Uh, are you are you ready to hear? <laughs> Sir, I, I look at the perfume, man. I, I just saw the things in the perfume. Now that there is nothing in the perfume that will make you die it has been contaminated. But I saw it. So that when I spray it, then why is it that there are perfumes women will use that will make a man follow them? It's called follow me by force. I've seen one before. I've been at the bank before, so I've seen one before. <laughs> the past is do as I say. Who was Kakaobe Yamano? 
is called <laughs> building spiritual capacity. Let me repeat myself. Your greatest needs are spiritual needs. You know what Jesus said? Jesus said something in the book of John. He said, I have many things to tell you. But you cannot bear them now. That means that you don't have the capacity to comprehend them. But how be it when the spirit comes? Because the spirit is an enhancer of capacity. It is in spirituality that we can download the fabric of what makes God God. That's why you need to build your spirituality. Sir, it's not everybody that is ruled by Banku and Fetidechi. There are men who are spiritual. Sir, 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 sir. You may tell me when you are in a sea, your greatest need is a life jacket. But Paul will tell you that when you are in the sea, you are in water and you are drowning, your greatest need is your spiritual capacity. Because you see, spirituality connects you to where, what you are supposed to be at the beginning. So if Adam could name animals without life jackets, you can also survive in the sea. Look at someone that said, today I receive grace. I don't like the way you are talking. Put your hand on your head. Say, today I receive grace. To build my spiritual capacity. You know, and when I talk about spiritual capacity, I'm talking about building your spirit man so that you can grow big outside. Beloved, build up yourself. So there must be a building of the spiritual man. That spiritual capacity. You see, your spirit is like a container. And it is very elastic. How much you stress, you stretch it, determines what it can contain. Now, if you are Bible, tend to, I want to tell you something. Turn to 2 Chronicles chapter 26. Also, we'll get a microphone and read the scriptures for me. I want us to look at a man. Second Chronicles, chapter 26 from verse 1 to 5. We'll read verse 7, then we'll read verse 15. Then all the people of Judah took Uzziah, who was 16 years old, and made him king in the room of his father Amaziah. He built a lot and restored it to Judah after that the king slept with his fathers. Sixteen years old was Uzziah when he began to reign and he reigned fifty and two years in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Jecolia. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord according to all that his father Amaziah did. And he sought the God in the days of Zachariah, who had understanding in the visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. Now let's jump to verse 7. Verse 7, then we'll go to verse 15. And God helped him against the Philistines and against the Arabians and dwelt in Guba and the Mehinims. Now verse 15. Verse 15. And he made in Jerusalem engines invented by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the bulwarks to shoot arrows and gray stones with that. And his name spread far abroad and for he was marvelously helped till he was strong. Sir, this was a guy that was 16 years old when he mounted the throne of Israel to be king of Israel. And his emphasis was in building spiritual capacity. The Bible said that he, he, he sought the Lord. He made his ways right with God. And when, as long as he built that capacity, God made him prosper. So I don't care the wisdom you have. Oh, I feel like preaching this thing. Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23. Let no man boast 
in his wisdom, in his riches. But let him that boast, boast that he knoweth God. So to God, riches are not important. They are an offspring of the building of spiritual capacity with him. Do you know that this same guy, when he stopped building his spiritual capacity with God, he started failing. So look at from verse 16. He started falling. 16. Now you see, for instance, I heard I heard a politician was on radio and television saying that uh, the reason why uh, 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 this man of God is fake is because the auntie was taken to the man and then the auntie couldn't see the man. And the auntie died of cancer. You see, people talk as if light has gone off somewhere. Jesus. It's just like saying that you brought, you brought somebody who is sick here and the person couldn't seek me, see me. So that makes me fake. Sir, build your spiritual capacity because in the day of trouble, I may not be there. That's all. He said, having done all that you'll be able to stand, there, there is an evil day for everybody. <laughs> and your ability to survive the day of adversity is determined by the capacity you have built. Hallelujah. You know, when several years ago, is it not some few years ago? One of the people who bodyguards me and moves with me when I'm moving in the spirit is, is David. He's here. Now it is Eric. David is here. Now look at David. He's the one where David stand. Stand. Look at David. Look at him. Stand, stand properly. Look at his body structure. Eric, stand. Look at Eric. Don't I even have stretcher than Eric? So I should rather be protecting Eric. Hey! Okay? Look at David's body structure. Look at Eric's body structure. Why? Because David has a gym in his house. And every time before he go to work, he needs to be doing mm, 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 mm. Me go and be doing mm, mm. What, what I thought do I want in life? You see, you see, the way I'm preaching and moving about it is enough exercise. It is enough gym. That's the way I'm sweating because my blood is working. If you like, we should give you a, a microphone to stand one hour. We will be also called standing, uh, stand a turn. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> or do three or four hours. I see why guy. You think you think standing is cookie? <laughs> now, also look look at the verse sixty. But when he was strong. His heart was lifted up to his distraction. He stopped building his capacity. Sir, why will a 16 years old boy have the capacity to rule a whole nation? Because he sought the Lord. After, one day I'll preach to you a building spiritual capacity by fatherhood. For he transgressed against the Lord. How can you have two hours eh? Eh? to sit by football? But when you are in church for two hours, you are complaining. Who, who, are, who are you complaining to? Who are you complaining? Who, who are, it, it's a sign that your heart is not with God. Because where a man's heart is, that is where his treasure is. You can be watching TV series. Season one, season two. 
The only thing you see there is kissing and how to kiss. But when it comes to spiritual things, you have reason not to be at church. It tells you where your heart is. Sir, do you know that all the books I've written, there are people here who don't even have one of the books. But they have read foolish novels. Novels of people kissing people. 40 days to a gege. Love brewed in African port. And their book is as big as their head. But they are able to concentrate and read it. But when it comes to God's word, there are people here, eh? They have all kinds of songs in their home. Build a house and even do a decoration to put alcohol and do a mini bar and think you think that you are enjoying life. It's a sign of who you are. It's a sign of what is inside you. Because if you are truly a child of God, everything about you will reflect him. The reason why there are a lot of false prophets is because church people refuse to build capacity and they are relying on men of God. So it has made men of God very powerful. That's why it's not every day you call me that you get me. Somebody told somebody, I stopped big service because Prophet Eric, when you call him, he seems he's inaccessible. I thank God that I'm, I'm not job, a jobless prophet. You see, any man of God who is 24 hours inaccessible is a man of God you should fear. Is Pastor Chris 24 hours accessible? Men of God that make impact, they are not always accessible, sir. So don't make yourself accessible that, that instead of building your spirit, you are sending messages to people and greeting them as man of God. For, for what? The whole place is quiet now. The men of God, some of them are shaking their head. No spiritual capacity. So anything they tell you, you believe it. They see a snake lizard on your head, you believe it. Because you are shallow spiritually. Do you know the number of bishops that told me that I would die 2023? That I preached for them. They said they had a vision that I would die 2023. Have I died? No, sir. Is it my ghost that is here? That is information. What I decide to do with that information rests on me. I will not die now. No, no, my friend, I will not die now. I have not finished drinking berry company. I have not finished wearing the things I have to wear. I have not finished sleeping where I want to sleep. And you want me to die. The private jet hasn't come. Then you say I should die. I should die for who to come and sit inside. Go for in a bed name and I say one and a bed name. Sir, build your spiritual capacity. One of my daughters, eh, he was in Cape Coast. Working with a financial institution in Cape Coast. A prophet looked at her, shake the head, and said, you are about to die. Withdraw all your money in your bank account. I think she has 60,000 in the account. She was just there, and there was a problem with the uh, network. Then the thing occurred to why I have not called my father. Called me. And I just speak the call like that. That's why if before you call me, pray. Do you know there are people who call me? God will speak to me directly. There is somebody calling you. Pick the call. Do you know the number of calls I receive a day? You see, one of my phones is in my bag now. If Eric opens that phone now, I will not, people who even forget that I'm at big service. Oh, daddy, daddy. A, 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 a prophet told me I'm, I'm about to die. I am, he said, I need to sow a seed of 60,000. I said, you are not just dying. You are dying now. <laughs> now, me, 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 your papa, one mommy, one seed die. Obiaba. 
wajari wajari wasra nkoto vaseline and I was share was share we edit to na we let perfume a good new I catch you say oh baby for 60,000 bra oh yeah man oh friend is a oh baby oh baby oh says it that is how the 60,000 Ghana cities was saved you know I heard a story about a pastor so he was in the church eh? the person was a church leader in the church anytime they are doing fundraising for church building this man will never contribute but he was very rich he was driving a Mercedes then he went to a prophetic service and the prophet told him that he's about to die so he needs to sow the Mercedes this man sold the Mercedes and he and the wife started walking to church so after one month, the man, the pastor asked the wife, ah, but where is your Mercedes? It looks like this car that you are using, where is the real Mercedes? He said, my husband has shown it. And you know women can talk. Every woman, every woman who has capacity knows the difference between Toyota, Corolla, and Mercedes. Sir. Then the woman narrated the story. The, it was a Sunday morning. The pastor was coming to preach. He said, let them sing. I'm coming. He told the man, come and sit in my car. He drove to the man's church. There were securities and things. He, he said, if you don't want me to scatter the service, tell your pastor I want to see him. The man was on the pulpit jumping. They told him that the guy that gave him Mercedes, and that was the Mercedes he sat into church. So he taught the choir to sing. Then the man went to the, uh, how do you call it? The, 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 the car park. And the pastor told him, I know you. I know what you have made of. If you don't release that car, this church will not contain us. The pastor had to send people to his house to go and bring the car document. They brought the car document. Because you have no built capacity. So even if they tell you that headache will kill you, you are afraid. Because you have not built enough capacity. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall be strong. Flight in the kingdom is measured by spiritual capacity. Yes, sir. sir, if you can't build, you don't have capacity to pastor 20 people. God will not give you 25. Why were we not able to cast them out? He said, this one, eh? this kind, it doesn't only come out by followership. It comes out by fasting and prayer. When you do fasting and prayer, you get a particular capacity to deal with this devil. I like the way you are looking at me. So today, what is spiritual capacity? I think I gave you some definitions last week. Spiritual capacity is the ability to, co to contain spiritual download from God. Spiritual download from God. Na, 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 na. Although, you know that people's giving huh? people's giving huh? people give according to their spiritual capacity no I don't give to God as if God is a dispensing machine I don't give to God because I want God to give back to me so I don't do trade and battle with God when you build your spiritual capacity you know that what you are giving to God is not to help God but what you are giving to God is a sign of appreciating to what God has given you. How much of spiritual download can you contain? Do you know there are things I have found out studying the Bible? I can't preach you. Because if I preach you, you start going to pray that Prophet Eric has gone into heresy. What some people call heresy is lack of spiritual insight. 
That's why I will never sit anywhere and criticize Oye the Pope for doing feet washing. Because what he may have seen in feet washing, you have not seen. Yes, sir. So you don't assume capacity. You build capacity. What are the values of building spiritual capacity? Number one, it sustains energy for the journey of life. <laughs> uh, somebody say it sustains energy. In other words, you have spiritual stamina. A spiritual stamina is the ability to be self-encouraged, self-motivated. You are not looking for people to encourage you. You strengthen yourself in the Lord. Like David, you can have a lot of fighting men that are crying and they don't have strength to cry anymore, but you encourage yourself in the Lord. Because you have spiritual stamina. Now listen, life is a journey. And it takes strength to undertake a journey. Are you here? Now you can't wake up and say that you are undertaking a journey to walk from here to Kolebu. Or what they call walk at all. You are not eating enough. As a matter of fact, there are certain food you even need to eat. Rice is not enough. There are certain food you need to eat. Cocoa is not enough. Oat is not enough. You want to emb embark on those journeys, go bear with enough gari or a bar. Banku, fufu, those are the things that will give you energy. What spiritual capacity does is that it gives you spiritual energy and stamina for the journey of life. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. Isaiah 40. <laughs> they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They are weariness because they cultivate spiritual capacity. Sir, I have gone through all kinds of river and storm, but I am still standing because I have built spiritual capacity against the storms of life. Storms don't respect height, they respect weight, they respect impact. It is already the, it is only the 16th day of 2024. You are already leaking. You are already tired already. You are already started giving up because one problem just slapped you. I prophesied to 20 people. You will not collapse on the journey of life. I didn't hear your aim. I said you will not collapse on the journey of life. Sir, sir, sir. COVID came, eh? and when they were describing COVID, you even wonder whether you'll be alive. But you are alive today, COVID is not alive. Anything you build capacity for, you can survive. Yes, sir. sir, I am not afraid of tomorrow, because I didn't get here by connection. I didn't get here by tricks. I got here by building capacity. And it doesn't matter the storms that will come, I will stand. Yes, one of the covenants I had with God, I told him, I told God one day, I was lying down and I told him one day, it doesn't matter what comes against me. I will not turn my face to anything. The day I turn my face to anything, take me from this earth. You need strength for the journey of life, sir. Nobody can give you strength. You can't buy strength in Agogloshi. Spiritual strength is, is, is cultivated by building spiritual capacity. This thing that when malaria comes, you are down. When flood comes, you are down. When this thing comes, you are down. After you, you have become a goalkeeper. Everything, you are catching it. It's because you have not built capacity. But I pray for 100 people under the sound of my voice. Receive grace for spiritual strength. As your amen conquers, God is giving you grace for spiritual strength. As your amen conquers, God is giving you grace for spiritual strength. Look 
at someone and say spiritual strength. <laughs> there is a dimension of God. Affliction will strive where there is lack of stamina. He said, if you faint hey. in the days of battle, it means that your strength is little. <laughs> Sir, build your spirit. One of the values that you get spiritual strength. One day I walked by a man. <laughs> I walked by a man and then he has seven horns. And some of the horns were, were the mouth, the, the tip of a beak. Like that bed. That bed. I don't know how they call that bed. The, 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 the mouth was like two of the horns was like that. I bypass him. I turn my back. <laughs> I look at him. He look at me. I look at him again. He look at me. And I walk away. Whilst I was walking away, I saw that he was still looking at me. I went into the building, came back again. He was still standing. When I was going, they called me back. I went back again. When I was coming back, he was buying roasted plantain. And when I passed, he said, he said, are you a preacher? Are you a pastor? I said, I'm a prophet. He said, yes, sir. And I walk away. Because even demons know, you see, there is no, there is no, why is it that, have you asked, why is it that armed robbers don't go to military camp to go and rob? Have you seen armed robber take a gun and say he's going to military balance to go and rob before? Because they know <laughs> that barras, they don't wait for police to come. It's, 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 you are a dead man. Sir, so build spiritual strength. And you can build that by building spiritual capacity. As you wake up in the morning and you are praying, what you are doing is that you are accumulating strength. You are accumulating credits in the bank account of your strength. And then when the time comes and then you need strength, you withdraw from that place. <laughs> one day, one day, Oye the Paul's wife was sick. <laughs> the woman was sick. There were all kinds of things. The woman would die. Oye the Paul said, forget about this. She's not dying. The woman was in the hospital in the US. By the time the woman would open the eyes, Oye the Paul was kneeling by the leg of the woman and say, Father, if you truly sent me, heal him. Heal her. The woman has been healed now. Nobody takes that sickness and survives. Strength. It is spiritual strength that will make armed robbers see Oye the post car coming. And they say, that's the bishop. Take cover. A car without, is not bulletproof car. <laughs> but there is a man in the car that has built spiritual capacity. One day he appeared at the hotel where armed robbers invaded the hotel. He appeared in a towel. He said, in the name of Jesus. They say he has a gun. They ran away. Where is Eben? One day armed robbers invaded my house. I was sitting in my hall when they invaded the house. It was too late to do anything. Can Jesus be sitting and armed robbers will invade the house and say, lift up your head. Lift up your hands. The guys were in arm masses. Entered and then held the door. The leader held the door. The door was not closed. He held the door. He said, wrong house. You need to build spiritual. David is here. David, David is here. 
I was driving with him. Those times we were using what? Toyota Fortuna. We were on the motorway. The place I was sitting, the tie went pa. I didn't shout Jesus. He didn't shout Jesus. He only increased the volume of Uncle Atu. And look at me and look at him. You know, there was a looking. <laughs> now listen. There is a way. One time I was in a flight. Eh? Dougie Ward Mills was in the flight. And there were turbulence. I didn't open my mouth to say one word. Because I know I will not go down. Because Dag is there. If the devil is looking for me today, now there is somebody there. There is God capacity. Sir, life is dangerous. The people you are calling the, your friends, when they turn against you tomorrow, they can use all kinds of diabolical means against you. That's why you need to build strength. There are reasons why people lie down and they don't wake up again. See, one of the signs that you are, you are building spiritual capacity is that in your dream, eh, whilst you are sleeping, when somebody wants to attack you in your dream, you slap the person. It means that your spirit is alive, it's strong. But if they are chasing you and you are running, it means that you need to build more energy. Somebody say strength. I like the way people are shaking their head. go to the gym, you are shaking yourself at the gym and shaking the gym but what at all when I used to go to the gym there are certain metals I don't carry because there are people there and they are there from morning till evening they don't have any job that's what they do and when you look at them, you know that this one, when he slaps you, <laughs> your brain will reset because of the capacity. It's called capacity. Now there is a slapping competition. I saw one video where they slap one guy. They slap him. When he went down, he didn't wake up again. <laughs> because the slap is... <laughs> It's got the capacity. That's what I did in traffic and an army man came down. I, 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 I whole prophet. In my suit, I came down and said, I'm sorry. Because he is not in big service. He doesn't go to the churches I go. So he doesn't know I'm a prophet. Because they wish they can slap, they can slap you and you'll be driving and be seeing things about people. But it's not prophetic, it's hallucination. And you know, you're born, 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 you're Meet you, Ebisu. Your boy, be assume no, your born assume. Oh, sorry. And drive home. It was a Friday. Sunday, all CSC, and you want to call sorry no, and now pay no buy. The year better no, yeah, 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 yeah. And I use it at there, or see the old boy, my soon Friday no. I feel number. Ma, Obi, and Bo, Asuma. Wednesday, not about Friday. Oh my God. Maybe let me talk about the last one. Why do you need, what's the value? Let me, let me talk about three and then we'll, 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 we'll. Number two. Surviving adverse times. Surviving adverse times. As I will read uh, Second Timothy. 
chapter 3 verse 1 then we look at Ephesians chapter 4 verse 13 and in the scripture I quoted Proverbs 20, 30 30 2 Timothy Second, three, verse one. This that in the last shall come. Wait, in the last days, are we in the last days? Times that are difficult times will come. Difficult times will come, sir. And your ability to survive difficult times depends on your spiritual strength. Somebody said difficult times will come. Are you afraid of the person you are talking to? Look at the person. He said difficult times will come. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 13. Ephesians till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the God or the Son of God on man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Till we all come, we come to a place. You see, that scripture, when you link it with surviving diverse uh, situations, you think that there is no connection. But there is a lot of connection because the text of that scripture is talking about coming into a place where you come into the fullness of who Christ was. And Christ, when he was on earth, he was faced with diverse situations. But he survived all of them. And look at what even the 14 says. He said that we has be no more and tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine and the slight of men and craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. One of the wish of doctrine is that a, 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 a doctor will look at you and say that this disease is incurable. And you will think that you will live with this disease and die with it. It is, it is the wisdom of man. Do you know that Paul wrote to Timothy, uh, uh, Titus, and told Titus that let the word of God get to a place where he described the falseness of science. That means that the word of God is superior to science. Sir, what you are going through now is not a problem compared to what is coming. He said, if you have run with footmen, if you have run with footmen and they have worried you, what happens when you run with horsemen? If in the land, the land you find yourself, where there is only a stream, you can't cross, what happens when the Jordan becomes full? I prophesy to 20 people whose amen will be the loudest. Receive grace to survive every situation the devil throws at you. In the name of Jesus. Sir, I don't care the financial battle you are facing. If your spiritual strength, capacity is in place, you will survive it. You don't need to have money to have money. You may not have money, but what you want the money for can be done for you by people. I pray for somebody today. The last thing I want to talk about is that it secures us for our momentum. momentum is that grace that keeps you going even when others have stopped how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about momentum somebody say momentum momentum is the force that carries you from a stationary position to a moving position. I prophesy to somebody, your business is receiving momentum. Momentum is the fuel for motion. 
the proof of spiritual capacity is visible momentum visible motion you cannot say you have spiritual capacity and you are not moving forward the path of the jazz is like the shining light it shines more and more until the perfect day i prophesy to somebody you are moving forward from today your finances is moving forward from today everything around your life is moving forward from today amen. as you scream and ever you are just moving forward from today amen. So you can't build spiritual capacity and be motionless. No, 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 no. You cannot. So I am not motionless. I'm very progressive. I'm so progressive that some of the invitations I get outside there, God speaks to people in their visions. Give them my phone numbers and they call me to come and preach for them. I, I don't preach. I don't have complimentary card for preaching. Huh? That I am... Uh, in Living Fountain Baptist Church, my name is Professor So So So. I, I, I don't even like telling people I'm a prophet because it's not in saying it is in proofs. If you know anybody who says he doesn't believe in prophet, bring the person to prophetic service and just tell my boys that you have got a man who doesn't believe in prophet and then show us where he's sitting. He will know that God is alive. I can never be irrelevant in the prophetic ministry, sir. I can never be irrelevant. Even if a prophet appears here, I can never be insignificant. I just don't tell people their name and their phone numbers. I tell them their future. I tell them few. I tell people futures of nations. It's a few prophets that have that capacity. You need to build that spiritual capacity where you become a confidant of God. Can I do anything without telling Abraham? You are not building capacity because you want to be prominent. You want people to know you because you want... You see, that's where I have a problem with a lot of things. Okay? Have you ever seen me post on my Facebook page? I am in this country. Then I pick a picture. I'm all over the place. There are people who even go to a trial to go and fast. And they are doing video. Why are you fasting at a mountain and you are doing video? For what? For what? What the Bible says, when you want to pray, go into secret and close the door. You are not doing Facebook Live. We are at Atria. I'm here. You are, you are, for what? For what? So it becomes showmanship. I've never gone to Atria before. Huh? I've never, I'm telling you before God, I've never stepped in Atria before. But the spiritual weight I carry, a lot of Atria people don't carry it. Because whether, you see, anywhere you find yourself, you can even be in a pub. You can create a seeking place in the pub. You can be at a place they are playing Bob Marley music. But you create a spiritual portal between you and God in the ecosystem you occupy. So it's not of a place. It's how much of God you can generate in that place. That is why Jacob will go to a place, pick up a stone. It's not about the place. The stone he picked was a rock. That created a portal for him. So stop killing yourself because you didn't go to Achia. I'm not saying that going to Achia is bad. <laughs> Do you know the number of people? Achia, there are good people there, there are false people there. They don't see a fly. They don't see a fly. All these things, man. You, you, uh, you see a man of God in Germany. He's taking a video of himself eating in a restaurant. I'm live in Germany. I'm, 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 on, the, I'm on the flight to Germany. <laughs> we have landed in Germany. Then if we are doing that, uh, Facebook cannot contain us. Sir, when you are building momentum eh, in life, it's not in restaurants. Because even Yahoo boys can go and eat in a restaurant. The, a man of God eating in Kimpiski does not make you any better than anybody. Because fraud boys even eat in Kimpiski. A man of God is measured by how much God knows you. 
and how much impact and how much God can trust you. Sir, let me tell you a secret. Eh? This one, I didn't read it from a book. The Lord told me one day. I was praying for a particular man of God. The Lord told me one day. There is a realm you walk with God. Eh? When you even offend God, God doesn't allow people to judge you or talk against you. When people talk against you, God deals with them. God rather now takes the responsibility to deal with you. But not with people. That's too much. There's a particular man of God I respect so much. He said all kinds of things about TV Joshua. Stood on his pulpit and said, in January, there will be news and documentaries about TV Joshua. He was giving the thing as if it's a prophecy. But it was not a prophecy. One of the people who did the, the interview was called him, was a relative to him, and told him about the documentary. And he came to stand there and say, This thing, the man is this. And, uh, and this thing is coming. Oh, oh, oh. And then you stand there and behave like you are righteous. But lying on the pulpit is not sin. You think that sin is only fornication. Even fornication goes beyond lying on somebody. When Jesus came, he redefined the law. He said, he said even the looking of the woman lastfully, you have committed it. So you may not commit the act, but in your imagination you have committed it. Hey! hey. <laughs> Spiritual capacity. It, it makes you secure motion. So spiritual capacity is the engine of mobility. Is the engine of mobility. I prophesy from today you will move forward. Your ministry will move forward. Everything about your life will move forward. Your business will move forward. I didn't hear your amen. I said you will move forward. So somebody said you will move forward. You can't build spiritual capacity like Elijah. And enter a place and they will not be moving forward. They must be moving forward. You may even meet a widow that has the last meal. But the meal will multiply because of your spiritual capacity. From today, you will never be behind. I don't like your amen. I say you will never be behind. As you shout an amen, I say you will never be behind. Your business will never be behind. Everything about your life will never be behind. Because you are building your spiritual capacity. As you scream an amen, I say you, are, you will not be behind. You are moving forward from today. Spirituality profited unto all things. All things, including financial things. Do, do you know that I can, I can look at you prophetically and tell you where you should put your money and make money? Why is it that when the banks were about to collapse, when uh, Akufuado came and things were going to collapse, men's gold was going to collapse, I stood in church, started telling you that you should draw your money from those places. Do I go to the meetings with them? Because I build spiritual capacity. A man that builds spiritual capacity can never be stranded. They always move. If you need a donkey to ride, donkey will be available. If you need bread to multiply, bread will be available. Even if you need a cross to hang on, there will be a cross available. Even if you need a tomb to enter, there will be a tomb available. Because you are always moving forward. I prophesy to somebody today, in the name of Jesus, I, I didn't hear your amen. <laughs> uh, when momentum is lacking, you start getting discouraged in following God. You know, mo momentum is the secret of consistency. <laughs> one of the things, one of the things momentum does is that it makes you get consistent with God. Even though you are down, you are still moving, so you are consistent with God. Now 
What ye mean, Pibo? Odini. Na Odini. Manu. And you fool through me. Ah, yeah, you she oh Take your seat.
it secures momentum. So momentum, when you see a man moving and making progress, is a projection of that man's spiritual capacity. Now, how do we build spiritual capacity? I'll talk about only one. I'll continue next week. The first one is not prayer. The first one is light. Revelation knowledge. Light. Somebody say light. Light. (laughs) Men that build capacity is measured by how much they know spiritually. (laughs) The secret of God, eh, it is with them that fear him. Sir, sir, sir. Job, eh, he ruled over his affliction by light. He said, when the light of God, the secret of God was upon my tabernacle. Light. Madam, for go for light. You can't be a pastor eh, and build spiritual capacity without reading books. As you are there, you are too small to know all the Bible. You are too small. One of the most dangerous pastors is a pastor who doesn't listen to anybody. He, myself, and I. That's the only person he listens to. He doesn't read any book. He doesn't listen to any preacher. You'll be limited in revelation. You're a very dangerous man. (laughs) I heard a story about T.L. Osborne. Even T.L. Osborne, before he would die, when the people walked into his office and saw a brand new book that he was reading, men that carry spiritual capacity like Paul, they were readers. They were readers. He said, bring up the parchments, the things I have left. Read them. They say, steady, steady, steady. No pray. There is a place for prayer. There is a place for studying. Steady God's word. There is a way you stick by God's word, meditate and study it. And when light breaks in your spirit, you can be praying for two hours. Stay steady. You know, I'm a Baptist, so I can say it. Baptist people, we pride ourselves in people of the book. But one of the problems we have is that we, we go after the letter and not the spirit. That's why we are where we are. That there is no revelation light that you carry that doesn't make you bring spiritual capacity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Although, I'm telling you, I can't have an accident no, and die. I'm telling you, I can never have an accident never. and die because I caught a light when I was reading God's word yes, where the, the donkey prophesied to the prophet. Then God asked me a question. He said, What was the donkey? I said, It was a means of transport. Then he said, Okay, if it is a means of transport, how do you equate that? in your dispensation. I said, the means of a transport is a car. Then he said, what did the donkey do? I said, the donkey saved the prophet. Then he said, any car I give you is not supposed to kill you, but to save you. And don't tell me I've I've not been in things. I've been in things that if you were inside, you'll be shouting, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Light, light. Uh, do you know I, I never went to Bible school? Light. But I learned how to be preaching by what my pastor told me. Caught me light. Took me through baptismal class. Took me through uh, discipleship. And now I can. You see, from now till I die, uh, there is no pulpit when I enter that I can preach. Even if you say no prophecy, I will preach and leave. They say the secret of men are in their story. Listen to what I am telling you. This whole idea of not studying God's word is the reason why you are weak. It's a new year. You don't have any devotional book. There is no devotional book. But you have all kinds of things on your phone. You have TikTok. 
And when they go through your phone, it's only foolish memes. Is it memes they call them? Memes. Foolish memes. You have one issue with your boyfriend, you go and look for a, a meme. Fear men, that's how they are. I love the woman I'm becoming. It's a sign of your capacity. It even shows that you are not emotionally intelligent. Because some people here, people can look at their status and know what is happening in their life. Say light. I, I like the way the, the whole place is going. Arise and shine for your light has come. Shining is as a result of light. <laughs> Why is it that you don't have physical Bible on, in your house? Hey. The only Bible you have is on your phone. Wow. Why? <laughs> it's not even a Bible you bought. It's free Bible. <laughs> when you are reading, the adverts are appearing. <laughs> <laughs> and women adverts are appearing. And now for you, your world that you came in, the only English you understand is King James Version. You don't build spiritual capacity. People think that spiritual capacity is in. Now, you see, I will know the weight of your prayer, but how much of God's word is in it. The content of your prayer and the weight of your prayer is measured by what God has said. Sir, so if you go for light, eh, if your prayer, your, the weight of your prayer, eh, the things you pray about will be reduced. For instance, for instance, you can be praying for 20 years that God should heal you and you will never be healed because you have not caught the light. He said, the Bible said, he took. He took. You know what is took? That is past tense. If I put my phone here and I took it, that's not correct English word. It's only KNUST, they speak that English. He took it. That means that the phone is no longer there. So why are you looking for? He took it. And the Bible said he didn't, he, the Bible didn't tell us that he took it and gave it to somebody. He took it. Nailed it on the cross. Let's even assume that he didn't nail it on the cross. He took it and it's with him. Also, if you take my phone and I'm looking for the phone, I need to look for you to get the phone. So if Jesus took it, and you are looking for that sickness, go and look for Jesus. And the guy is sitting in, high, in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, in far away. So if you don't have a revelation that your sicknesses has been taken, I feel like preaching this. Sir, when we were in SU, when we were young and in SU, when a brother is sick, they say, let's rise, let's thank God for brother Eric. But the Eric is sick. We are praying that God will, God will help him learn every lesson God wants him to learn through this sickness. Oh, on TV that. That's the prayer we were, we were praying. That's the prayer we were praying until revelation knowledge increase. There are some people who are sick today and they think that God is using the sickness to teach them a lesson. So, you see, as wicked as you are, even if your child offends you, you will not give cancer to your child to teach your child a lesson. So if you men are evil, can give good gifts to your children, how much more your heavenly father in whom every perfect gift comes from and there is no shadow of turning. You need light, sir. <laughs> you need light. One man of God is the richest. I think they just recently bought a brand new private jet again. Oh, the poor just bought a brand new private jet. He's the richest man of God in the world. In Nigeria, now when he's moving from place to place, he uses heli helicopter. Because of too much traffic. You know, one day I was in the UK. They were going to pick me from the house to preach. And I was late. So, the guy said, we will get to the place at 9 uh, 9.50. I was late. Then, he said, prophet, you are late. 
So we'll get to the place at 9.55. I asked him why. He said, because of traffic. I said, five minutes. And you call it, we are late. I said, five minutes and you call it late. I said, from first Jansi to La Scala, it's 30 minutes. <laughs> I said, my brother, relax. Where I came from, that's not lateness. <laughs> Even that 30 minutes, because we don't say we are late. It is after three hours that we start screaming we are late. That man caught light about prosperity. He shouted in the room, I can never be poor. He's not poor today. Kenneth Hagen was sick. He was at a place of death. They have given up on him to die. Medical science had not advanced in those days like now. He was dying from tuberculosis. As a matter of fact, they separated him into a room. Then he came across the Bible, open to the book of Mark chapter 10. Whosoever shall say to this mountain, that light entered Kenneth Hagen's spirit. That's how he came out of tuberculosis. From there, he became a healing evangelist by revelation, by light. Kenneth Copeland eh, came entered into prosperity by light in tithing. That they gave him money to go to school. He still tithed on it to pay school fees. He paid tight on the school fees. You don't know the power of light. Do you know light disarms the devil more than prayer? Because the prayer is a, 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 a thing every spirit being does. That's why every religion on earth, they pray. That's why they adore him. You know, and there is Allah Kubaru. And I, uh, 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 one day, one day I went somewhere and somebody was doing, uh, I said, hey, be quiet here. I'm going to stop that. One day I was at annual session. Eh? I was at annual session, Baptist annual session. I was in my room. Around three something, one guy came there shouting, get, 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 get. I came out in my bosses. I said, my friend, Get out of my window here, my friend. What, 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 what kind of, I'm sleeping, you are shouting. What, what is that? Is it here that you want to prove that you pray or what? My friend, get out of there. I been a fast speaker. Or baby now a fast speaker. China, a sicker for big gate. Sacra, oh, yes, Uba. And a sicker, no, no, pia. Oh, who man, who man, I don't know, a common lady. And a, oh, ye sicker. A man from from that day, woman no when Gina hobby. She caught light in God's word, and that light is going to stand at the rich man's gate and preach the gospel. Go for light. Do you know how I wrote my professional exams and pass? And I never failed once. I've never failed any examination in my life except my airway exams that my teacher died. She gave up on us. So I didn't even enter the examination hall. But there's nothing to write. I was studying the book of Daniel. Eh? And I was doing the biblical studies on Daniel. Then I came a scripture that said that he gave Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego the understanding to understand all kinds of literature and learning. When I read that scripture, I, I said, hey, all kinds of literature and learning, including mathematics, including project management, including finance, including costing, include every course. I said I can never fail exams. 
I'm not saying this to brag, but Charlie, 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 Nasha Yobi, because I took light. Today you are going to pray eh? that God will enlarge your capacity for light. So that you stop reading the Bible like a storybook and start catching light. Although, do you know, do you know, do you know why? I know I'm not under the curse. One day I was reading Galatians. Paul began to insult the people. Oh, you foolish Galatians. Who has bewitched you? Then he wrote and wrote and said, Stand fast in the liberty that you have received in Christ and do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. So there is liberty in Christ. So when I shifted from the kingdom of darkness into, into light, I came into the arena of liberty. I'm not under any yoke. So spider network cannot be attaching me. I can't enter my environment and then spider web will be crossing me. Because I have entered into an arena of freedom. I pray for you today. The eyes that makes people see light in God's word. May that God give you that eyes right now. Now be on your feet. You want to pray. Somebody say light. You are afraid. Look at someone to say light, 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 light. Look at someone to say light. Now lift up your hands. Missy Befa was MCSA Makuma. Wase Makuma Every show Wase Yoja Minyamiye Every show Wase Mutsumiji Obibia Wapa your hands. Father, this is a prayer I'm coming to pray. Father, enlarge my capacity yes, to go for light. Light in your word. Touch my eyes today that from today I will see mysteries and light in your word that will make me rule my word. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray that prayer? In the name of Jesus. Somebody lift up your voice and begin to pray. Zato vala hasata la vinehes. Zoko brasata la bahasaya. Somebody pray. Ia <laughs> <laughs> 
energy you need for 2024 yes, the spiritual energy you need to yes, journey through 2024 yes, Lord. are you here yes, yes Lord. Lord. don't forget i told you that 2024 from now till i guess is not good jesus healing will start happening from i guess to december jesus the spiritual energy you need yes lord to survive it thank you jesus are you here yes lord now lift up your hands you know, yesterday a politician was talking to me. He called me. He said, uh, Prophet, uh, you know, uh, the things you told me in 2023, the IMF money is coming, so the dollar will become stable. I, I, told, him, I told him, he said, stop, stop, stop talking like a child. <laughs> what I'm telling you is not IMF money. I'm, I've gone there and I've come back. You are now there. I've gone into December 31st, 2024, and I'm back. You are now there. There is no security in the government, sir. There's no security. I don't wake up believing God that when armed robbers come to my team, I'll call police service, they'll be there. It, it has never occurred to me. Because the day they finish you, that's where they will appear. 
One day I saw a robbery incident. They finished robbing, but, but people have left before the police came and jumped from the car and appearing at the wall with a gun. I said, look at this one. People have gone. He's now behaving like a movie. Your security sir, is in God. It's in God. God builds the house. They that labor, labor in vain. Yes, unless God watches over the city. Jeez. The watchman watches but in vain. You are coming to pray. Father, I download strength. Yes, Lord. For 2024. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Yes, Lord. I download strength. I download yes, strength. I download financial strength. I download financial I strength. I download emotional strength. I download, emotional I download strength. strength for my career. I download strength, I for my download career. strength in every area of my life. In every area for 2024. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Ah, lift up your voice and begin to pray. We lost that
Yes, Lord. Now lift up your hands. As your hands are lifted, I declare. Yes, Lord. Victory in life eh, is by spiritual capacity. Yes, sir. Not beauty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not educational qualification. Yes, Lord. Not connection. Victory in life is by capacity. Amen. Yes, sir. As your hands are lifted, Jesus. I release upon your life grace. Amen. Yes, sir. Grace to build your spiritual capacity. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. As your hands are lifted, I declare over your life a baptism. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of a desire and an appetite for God's word. Amen. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. As your hands are lifted, I, I declare by the word of the Lord, may God give you brand new eyes. Amen. Yes, sir. Eyes that will not see letters. Amen. But will speak the spirit behind the letters. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I command every spiritual deafness healed. Amen. I command every spiritual blindness healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Today, I command your spirit man to come alive. Yes, sir. To be responsive. Yes, sir. To spiritual things. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I command your desire. Yes, yes sir. I command the momentum of your flesh. Yes, Lord. I command it to come to an end. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I command the acceleration of your spirit. Yes, sir. I command that your spirit will begin to rise. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As your hands are lifted. Jesus. Sir. One day if I stand before God. Eh, I know. God will tell me that good and faithful servant. Yes, Lord. Because everything that made me prophet Eric is what I'm teaching you. Yes, Lord. I am not teaching you for you to rely on me. Yes, I'm teaching you for you to develop a capacity. Jesus. That will make you overcome the things I have overcome. Yes, Lord. As your hands are lifted. Ah. Today, I pray for you. Yes, Lord. Your desire for worldly things. Mm. Like television. Mm. Like soap operas, yes, yes, like football, yes, yes, sir. I declare they die, they Amen. die, they Amen. die, they die. Amen. They die. 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 Today, die. may your desire hey. for fellowship yes, yes, sir. in God's house, yes, yes, Lord. Lord. your desire for His presence, yes, Lord. your desire for prayer, yes, the desire for the word, hey. the desire to dwell in his courts. Hey. May those desire increase inside you. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Anything yes, Lord. that is making you lose yes, the momentum you need. Yes, sir. Whether it is sickness. Jesus. Whether it is a court issue, yes, Lord. whether it is a financial issue, yes, Lord. as your hands are lifted, yes, I declare in the name of Jesus, ah. they are deleted from your body. Amen. They are deleted from your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I command every sickness in your body to dry it down. Amen. Dry from the root in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. Anything that is denying you a testimony, Jesus. I speak in my capacity as a prophet. Yes, yes sir. sir. That thing is lifted off you. Amen. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I declare your door of testimony open. Amen. I declare your door of breakthrough open. Amen. I declare that in the next 24 hours, yes, you will receive good news that will change your life forever. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak by a word of the Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Tomorrow by this time. Hey. I declare a financial turnaround. Amen. Tomorrow by this time. Yes, Lord. I declare a turnaround in your business. Amen. Tomorrow by this time. Yes, Lord. I declare a turnaround in your pocket. Amen. Tomorrow by this time. Yes, Lord. I declare a turnaround in your family. Amen. I 
as your aim had gone down, it yes. is happening now. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, the people who know me very well, eh, when they come and tell me about problem, I start laughing. Because I know that is not a problem. That is not a problem. As your hands are lifted, Jesus, I speak over your life prophetically. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Look at me. Nothing has chased me in my sleep. Yes, Lord. Nothing. Nothing. From today. Yes, Lord. Anything that visits you in your sleep, Jesus. yes, sir, and makes life uncomfortable for you, ah. yes, sir. That when you wake up, you are sweating, yes, sir. You are running, ah. you have visible evidence in your body, yes, sir. Today, that attack is over, Amen. Amen. it is over, it is Amen. over Amen. by a prophet. He brought them out, yes, sir. By a prophet, he brought them in, yes, sir. I declare in the Egypt you find yourself yes Lord. Yes, Lord. in the Egypt of suffering yes, Lord. in the Egypt of slavery yes, Lord. in the Egypt of limitations yes, today by the word of the Lord we bring you out Amen. we bring you out Amen. we bring your business out Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. thank you Jesus I declare you blessed Amen, Amen. Now lift up your hands. Shy. Is Mr. Guatin here? Okay, he's not here today. Mr. Guatin took me to his land. He said, Prophet, come and pray. He was chasing me for eight months. The day I decided to go to the land to go and pray, there were land guards with machete on the land. So you can't enter the land. And I had oil. Sir. <laughs> I entered the land with the oil because I had God told me to go to the land. I told them, I told them, this is my son. I'm a pastor coming to pray over the land. Anybody that leaves that market will go down. And, I, and they were there. I took oil, dedicated the land, entered my car and left. If you don't build spiritual capacity, you'll be Kele wele for the devil. Wow. Build your capacity. Yes, Lord. You think at this time of my life, a witch can look at me and say, lift up your hands. Yes. Where? Don't you know I'm an ewe? Wow. If I don't fear the idols in my hometown, there is no other person I can fear. Yes, you small thing, you are shaking. There are people even who dream and urinate in the, in the sleep. They urinate. It's a sign that you have a weak spirit. Yes. This month of January, eh, you are building your capacity. Yes, Lord. I didn't hear your amen. Amen. Capacity. That's why capacity is not in age. I told you last week, God does not answer prayer. God will answer your prayer according to your capacity. He's able to do more than we ask or imagine according to the power. According to the power that is generated inside you. The capacity of the power. Jesus. There are people here, when God gives you marriage, it will kill you. Because hey. you don't have the capacity to keep marriage. Yes. You can't keep it. Wow. That's why some people, God gave them marriage. Now that the man has moved there, they are, they are, they are, they are there pretending and behaving anyhow. Because you, are, you don't have the cap you don't know the capacity how to keep a man. Wow. You think that shouting on a man is to keep a man? Fighting with a man all the time is how to keep a man. Every man, there is a king inside that man. If you know how to talk to that man, that kingship in that man will come out. Do you know that any money you want from a man, eh? You can get it if the man has the capacity, depending on how you talk to the man. Wow. That's why how sad chicks 
are able to get money from their people's husband than the wives themselves. Hey, kweku papa, me pesa me top raise yao. Hey, said ya wu kasa no skanu nya. But the side chick will come. The man has entered the side chick's home, a, a, a house he has rented, tired. This side chick will say, Oh, babe, you are welcome. At this age, we are, they are calling us, babe. Wow. Yes, Lord. Oh, sit down. Some of them will hold your thighs and then just massage it, remove your loafers. It looks like when well, you have been so exhausted today. I wish I was there to help you. Can I straighten your neck a bit? There is no nothing you ask that the man will give you the money eh, before he remember. It's like a young man who is under the influence of alcohol. Wow. He went to a club and he took. He thought he took a girl. He took a man, and then there and then he transferred money to the man. When they got home, he realized that it was a man he took. He said, "But you are a man." He said, but you took me in the, car, in, the, in the club. He said, did I pay you? He said, you have already paid. He said, ah, ah. that's what alcohol does. Wow. This year, I pray for you. Yes, Lord. May you build your spiritual capacity this year. Amen. There is no storm that comes against you. Jesus. That you will not survive. Yes, Lord. You know, we preach all kinds of things against Jonah. But you know. That in the midst of the storm, Jonah was still in the midst of the storm. And Jonah knew that the only way was for him to be taken out. He knew that as long as he was in the... <laughs> I pray for somebody today. Yes, Lord. May you receive capacity to build your spiritual capacity. Amen. Amen. I pray for 30 people here today. Yes, Lord. Madam, I went to Kolebu eh? a woman was dying. I entered into Kolebu. They did everything. They couldn't save the woman. And I entered the place. When I entered the room, my eyes opened. And I saw that the woman just paid rent to her landlady. landlady. And the landlady took all the money to their witchcraft coven. And said that, I am about to die, but I don't want to die. So I'm exchanging the life of this one that gave me this money with my life. That if you don't build spiritual capacity here, you, they will kill you. It's not every house you are in that's an ordinary house. Yes, Lord. I told you about a story of my, my friend. He lived in a house. Rented household with a landlord in the house. Started building his house when he was in the house. When he finished the house, went to the landlord and told the landlord, uh, thank you. God bless you for accommodating me. I built my own house. I'm moving. The landlord said, oh, God bless you. I want to rejoice with you, but I have something for you. It was eggs. The egg, there was no part of the egg that was broken. We were together at Oak Plaza Hotel. We were celebrating. It's schoolmates. And we're celebrating about the house and planning housewarming. And then they were playing Bob Marley music and the spirit of the Lord came on me. Yes, Lord. That's why I say, in the environment you find yourself, you can create your own portal. That's all. The spirit of the Lord came upon me. And the spirit of the Lord told me, there is an egg they gave him. He shouldn't eat the egg. And I told him, the man gave you an egg. He said, yes. I said, don't eat that egg. I said, when you live here, boil the egg, mix it with rice, and give it to his dog. He went home, boiled the egg, mix it with rice, gave it to his dog. The dog ate the rice. The dog was standing there and was vomiting blood and dropped down. And there was no part of the egg that was broken. So how did they project evil into the egg? You need to build capacity, sir. Jesus. You need to build capacity. Yes, I pray for you today. Hey. This year, 2024, yes, Lord. nothing yes, Lord. will take your life. Amen. Amen. Nothing will take the life of your children. Amen. Amen. Anybody connected to you, nothing will take their life. Amen. I declare by the word of the Lord, you are protected. Amen. Your coming in is protected. Amen. Your going out is protected. Amen. As you shout an amen, you are protected. Amen. I pray that 2024 will be a year where you will come back here. Yes, Lord. Not telling God 
and thanking God for how much cars he has given you. Jesus. Or how much houses, you, how many houses you have built. But how you have grown in the spirit. Mm. For John the Baptist was strong in the spirit. Waiting for his time of manifestation. For Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature. And have favor with God and with men. And the Bible said that he went into, he went, waited on God and returned in the power of the spirit. And his fame spread abroad. Yes, Lord. He built capacity. He was no more the capital son. What manner of man is this? I declare you blessed. Amen. I declare you favored. Amen. As you shout an amen, it is done. Amen. Now take your seat. Now listen. I'm going to close the service anytime soon. Next week will be the first strictly prophetic service of the year. Okay, so next week I'm doing strictly prophetic. Okay, I'm coming to prophesy and I'll close. People have started smiling because that's what they like. As I said, that people are smiling. They are looking at me. They are smiling. I say, hey, next week you about the come. Okay, so next week look at someone and say, next week we are doing strictly prophetic. Sir, where's your wife? He's in the house. Where's your mother-in-law? Weja. Can you tell your mother-in-law to come and see me on Wednesday, okay? There is something I want to say, but it's too sensitive, okay? Okay? Your wife is going mad. Eh? Your wife is having a mental problem. I want to talk to the mother. There is something I want to tell you. Okay? I, I can't tell you now. It's too, it's too serious. Okay? That thing that is happening to your wife is not ordinary. There's a spiritual connotation, and I want to talk to the mother. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that the mother is the one responsible. Okay? Because your wife doesn't want to see your mother in your house, in her house, her matrimonial home, because your wife feels like it's the mother that is doing her. But I want to see the mother. I will talk to the mother about something. I thought you shout an amen. amen. Uh, I thought you shout an amen. amen. So next week Wednesday, I'm doing strictly prophetic. Okay, strictly prophetic. I'll spend time next week Wednesday. I'm not going to preach for long. Uh, strictly prophetic. Me yes, yes, yes. me yes. Strictly prophetic. Can you tell them how I do strictly prophetic? Yes, yes, sir. So how do I do strictly prophetic? Now what you are be wukwada e papa ebe shenko me and kom shenkwa nyanko pong ebe nam no so aka e hintase machedao. Bibi biara e tu susa awa brabum era de benam no so e ye free wo. Inti de Madam for me see, me see, said ya me yenu. Me chirem pacho. Okay, chirenu. Ye can say obe preachi ka kre be twenty twenty five minutes. We are near Tonyum, no, a good as soon. Amen. Okay, so I'm doing strictly prophetic next week, Wednesday. I'm not doing anything today. Okay, I'm doing strictly prophetic next week, Wednesday. Okay, uh, where's the flyer? Where's the flyer for the program? So, as of for my son is doing his inaugural service of his ministry, Arena of Light International, this, sun, this, uh, uh, this Sunday, and next week, Sunday. Uh, uh, this Sunday, uh, into January, I end this. I end in Sano. Today it looks like this January it has ended very fast. <laughs> it has ended very fast. You know, I told you, I told you that the year 20, 20, 24 is six months. Ube be when year na year na end it. I've seen two one again. Whatever you are saying is your business. Oh.
came to church, he said, oh, prophet. The numbers have come. I said, unjai <laughs> So people are just saying some things. Some things. Somebody say some things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's well. So the program is this Sunday at 4.30 p.m. The venue is at uh, Pantan, Junction, Adenta. Eh? Where's the direction to the place? From the breeze stretch, you get to from Medina coming towards Ebri, you get to Pantan Junction. Then you take left. Immediate left. Then what? Then the what? The hotel is on your... What's the name of the hotel? Midland Hotel is on your right. You know, that's where we are having the inauguration service at 4.30. I'll be there. And then uh, Reverend Dr. Kojo Benpa will also be there. The time is 4.30. Uh, you know I don't joke with my time. So the time is 4.30. We'll do the inaugural service and then we are out of there. Okay? And that will be the beginning of the meeting of Arena of Light International. Uh, Arena of Light. Because I'm a pretty light and in the Arena of Light. She will tell you what, what is happening there. It's, it's a place of illumination and revelation. Okay? The Lord bless you. Now lift up your offering. Lift it up. Lift up your offering. Give him the mic, let him pray over that one for us. Shaiva has as we pray over the offerings. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for giving us substance, money to be able to give back to you. We ask that let your blessing come upon it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <coughs> So they'll give us a song and then we'll, cast, we'll give our offerings. Okay? Hallelujah, hallelujah, mighty God, 
Eyes closed in the building, all eyes closed. All eyes closed. You have here, you have not received the life of Christ, you have not given your life to Christ. This is an opportunity to give your life to Christ. You are here like that. Lift up your hands, we want to help you. You have not given your life to Christ, you have not received the life of Christ, we want to help you. You want to give your life to Christ, we want to help you. Thank you, thank you. Everybody here is born again. Can we give God a mighty clap offering? Now, next week, now the service starts at nine. Okay, I'm I'm trying everything possible to restructure the service so that we can close latest by 12 30, 1 o'clock. Somebody say amen. Somebody say it is possible. <laughs>